Hey guys, Virtual Lionel here, and this is my first episode. Today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, which I'll explain to you what that is soon, um, its economy, how it works, and possibly the future of it. So let's get right into it. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is technically an online currency where you don't need to use any names, age, or anything. You just need your computer. Um, it's like a stock, except it's a theoretical stock. It's not exactly a, um, a physical thing that you have, but it's something that you see on the computer. It's something that's on servers, written in files. Um, now... People can make money off this by either A, buying Bitcoins, um, it kind of like stocks, like if you take $50 and you put it into Bitcoins and you get like, I don't know, like 500 Bitcoins or something like that, I can't quite remember. But um, if you take that money and you wait for the Bitcoins to raise up in value, then you sell all your Bitcoins, you've made more than what you put in. That's how people can make money off of it. Another way are by things called bit miners, and pretty much it takes up your computer RAM and it slowly generates bits for you. But it's really not worth it unless, um, well, unless you have a bot server, which I'll talk about later. So, um, back to how you can make money off of it. Um, yeah, so with the bit miner, it's really not worth your time because it's like 0 .001 bits a day, and that's not very much. That's like not even a penny worth of bits. Um, the economy of bitcoins right now, um, they're fair right now. The highest price right now is at. Three dollars and sixty-four cents. The lowest right now is at two dollars and ninety-five cents. So they're staying around the three-dollar range for one bit. Um, so they used to be very when when Bitcoin first started. It used to be really really cheap. You could buy a T-shirt that would be normally twenty dollars for like ten thousand Bitcoins. Which now would be a lot of money. But back then it was just like, whatever. But then Bitcoin er, started, started to become more valuable. So um, that 10,000 Bitcoin is now worth probably $50,000. So, or, you know, right, right after they were created. There's that. There was a time when they were cheap and then they got really expensive. Well, then they got really cheap again because somebody went and took a lot of bitcoins that, that they had saved up they had a lot of bitcoin and they turned them all in for money and the bitcoins value just dropped so um so it just like majorly dropped like you it went from like probably ten dollars a bit to three dollars Um, yeah, so the future of Bitcoins, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. I, realistically, I'm not going to lie with you, I think it's going down, because, well, let me explain why. Um, so inside of viruses, when you download a virus, it'll either A, completely destroy your computer, or B, install spyware. And when it installs spyware, it will spy on your information and get all your passwords and stuff. And they're just not good. But it also might um, put you on a bot network, which is, takes advantage of the bit miner system. Because when you're on a bot network, let's say you create a virus and you get a thousand people on your bot network. Well, what would have normally taken um, like a hundred days to get one bit. Now it only takes probably a week to get a bit. And 
that's just taking advantage of it and people will make um viruses and they will be racking up money they'll just be getting so much because um they'll get a bunch of people to download the software i mean some of it can even be useful software you'll download the software and you'll use it a lot and stuff but who knew that um inside of the agreement and the terms it said we have the right to put you on a bot network and spy on you um, so that's kind of bad but um russia is really taking advantage of that because that's like probably on a realistic scale four or five percent of where all russian money comes from in the government is bot servers um that means that these like the russian government actually creates viruses that um, every everybody in the world gets and then they start making thousands of bitcoins and then they trade them in for cash and they're just breaking up cash so they're getting like billions of dollars for this now i'm not encouraging you to um go and create a virus that's that's bad but just don't create one it's just really bad um i would say take forty dollars and go put it inside of um of bitcoins it's kind of an unstable market because it's always going up and down you never know when they're going to be a lot you never know when it's just going to crash because it's it's not a physical thing you have no backup you're not sure because it's, it's not like it's not like real stock where it's like you know that you have it and it's a physical thing it's a theoretical thing it's like it's like online points well what happens if the site crashes all those online points are all gone so it's never a sure thing I wouldn't exactly trust them, but if you want to trust them, that's your decision. I'm not encouraging you, but I mean, if you want to, then that's up to you. Well, I hope that you liked my first video of, um, of my YouTube channel, and remember to write, comment, and subscribe, and tell me what you want to hear. Well, thank you.